you know, Michael Ja, he he said something that was interesting. He was like, you know, um, because he was speaking about the guy Orlando Anderson, Baby Lane. And he was right. like, you know, Orlando, he grew up a gangster. Pac didn't. And, yeah. you know, from his standpoint is ultimately, you know, Pac wasn't living his truth. Which these two, if you took an Orlando Anderson and a Tupac story and followed it, that's not the same story at all. Those are two different people. But, you know what I mean? But the, but yeah. the, the, the world would believe that Tupac came up like, um, you know, like um, uh, Keefe D. Like, that's well, not yeah. the case. Yeah, I know. Um, it's 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 crazy to say just because a motherfucker ain't a gangbanger or he ain't no crip or no blood that he ain't a gangster. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm from, I'm from I'm from Oakland. I'm from the Bay Area. Ain't no crips and bloods out there, but it's gangsters out there, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And we all know that. You know what I'm saying? So it's a difference. You know, uh, uh, just because a motherfucker ain't claiming nothing or with this nigga or with that nigga riding with these or act a certain way, don't mean he won't blow your motherfucking shit back. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it's just a a a, a trait of being in the in the hood. The the motherfuckers with the most money drive the f most fucked up cars. If they a real motherfucker, real nigga ain't finna drive around in no motherfucking um, Lamborghini. Uh, if he sell dope, he gonna drive around in the most fucked up car he can actually drive around in. He gonna wear the most fucked up clothes he can actually wear. If he's smart, you know what I'm saying. So I mean, you know, shit. Sometimes you know you gotta you gotta have some t a certain image um, so you can get get by. You know, my name is my name is. Is Spice One. You would never think an artist named Spice One would, would spit gangster rap. I had to disguise the name for a minute because the shit that I spit, <laughs> it ain't for kids. You know what I'm saying? It ain't for the weak hearted, none of that shit. So, you know, sometimes you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta move a certain way. Real, real bad boys move in silence. We all know that, you know. You know, that, that's some real good insight that you share with us um, and great perspective um, across the board. You know, sometimes it takes people a minute to come into their own. Um, a lot a lot of true gangsters, you know, they like to, to your to your standpoint, they work fast food. That don't mean that they wasn't handling their business in the street. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I spent all of this gangster shit and say this and say that. You know, because I I ain't really out there getting down like that no more. You know what I'm saying? All of the shit I did, you know, I, I don't I don't I don't have to call a homie when I'm running from helicopters and all that shit. <laughs> GTA shit, you know what I'm saying? But you know, once once I'm smart enough to once to say, okay, shit, I don't got to do that no more. All I got to do is rap, and I, I can get this kind of money. You know what I'm saying? But you know. Greed is a motherfucker. Greed and pride to get a nigga killed and locked up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So when a motherfucker is too greedy and too proud, he want more than what 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 he has, and he ain't happy with what he got. Then you know he suffered the fucking consequences for trying to you know, you know trying to trying to overstep his bounds and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, um, God bless you with a good career. He bless you with money. He bless you with this. He bless you with that. And you still want to go out and 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 do dirt? You still want to go sell a sell a few birds and shit? Sell some keys and all of that shit? And you got money from 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 this type of business or that type of business? Then then you, you basically deserve what the fuck you get because you know he offered you a way out. You know what I'm saying? But you still trying to knock it on door, knock it on the devil's door, shit. And that's what, 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 what happened with most of these motherfuckers. They still knocking on the devil's door, knowing damn well, like dude said on a movie, he gonna fucking answer. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Once, once you get a, a break and you can make some legal money, the last thing you want to do is fuck that up by going, oh, I'm gonna sell this dope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do this. I'm gonna do that. Man, you gotta get into a different profession. Go sell some houses or something. You know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers got it twisted. You know what I'm saying? But... That's how you survive in this game. Shit. I could I could be out here doing all kind of shit, but I know I can make I I can make more money uh doing my music than I can uh, and be free and and not dead. 
You know what I'm saying? It just make my music shit. Absolutely. Absolutely. What, what, what's your thoughts on what Michael Jai said when he, and I want to get it right. He said Tupac wasn't living his truth. And that's what ultimately led to his death. But there's a deeper thing that, that connects this whole thing. Is the truth. If you deviate from the truth, you're going to pay for it. Yeah. This brother was not living the truth. If you're not living truthfully, you got to hold up this lie. And I believe that's the lie that took him out of here. Because I got to behave like a gangster. And he does stuff that he feels a great gangster would do, which every gangster that has been interviewed said, I wouldn't have done that shit. <laughs> yeah. You know, I wouldn't have jumped on Orlando Anderson. No, no, I, mean, I knew he was here. But he goes and does that because he's in character. And what happens, happens. Do you think there's any truth in that statement? Well, Pac's whole plan was, I don't think he, he wanted to die, but it, it was about, um, it was about, it was about uh, uh, basically kind of trying to scare these motherfuckers straight. This is what, you see me? I'm a real nigga. This is what real niggas do. And this is the type of shit real niggas got to deal with when they do real nigga shit. They got to go to jail. You got to get shot. You might have to shoot a few motherfuckers. That's what happened when you a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? I might even fucking die out here. But I'm going to show you motherfuckers what happens when you, were, when you a real nigga. This is what happens to a real nigga. Pac was a real nigga. And we all know where he at now. And the rest of you niggas out there trying to be real niggas, you can end up in that motherfucker too. That's what Pac was trying to show motherfuckers. That's what his pro that's what his plan was. It wasn't that he he was trying to portray something he wasn't. He was trying to he was trying to show motherfuckers what ha what's gonna happen to you if you do this. This is what type of motherfucker I am, and I don't want you to be this. And look look what happened to me. Look where I'm at now. You know what I'm saying? And these motherfuckers still ain't learned. <laughs> they still out here with too much pride. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, oh, oh, he did this to me. I got to kill that nigga. It's hard. It's hard. You know what I'm saying? If, for all of us, the, the hardest thing for me to do or not to do as a gangster rapper or, or a musician, uh, period, is to not, you know, uh, blow a motherfucker shit back for talking that, talking that shit. Because, you know... Uh, is 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 the uh, uh uh the element of surprise is is on my side. They wouldn't think the last thing they gonna think is 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 spice one in their face with a with a with a with a desert eagle saying fuck you nigga and ready to blast. That's the last thing they ever thought was gonna happen to them. You know what I'm saying? I got the element of surprise at all at all times. You know, um, but that's not what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I got different different uh, uh, strategies and different different agendas uh, to my life opposed to dealing with with bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You try to step 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 aside, let the bullshit pass you on, and, and keep it moving. But um, you got motherfuckers testing you all the time out here in these streets, just like a motherfucker flash, just like the homie flash that um flashed that money at that uh, Roscoe's, and, and, and niggas came up there and blew his brains out over that change. You know what I'm saying? Um, motherfuckers flash 300,000. That's what I said on the song, Cloud, uh, uh, Cloud was a hell of a drug. Motherfucker flash 300,000 and then wonder why niggas running all up in their house. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of shit out here, man. Niggas ain't, ain't paying attention to, man. You know, shit. Damn. Um, you, 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 you are really... <laughs> You 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 dropping a lot of stuff, and I hope people really catch a lot of what you said, especially when you was breaking down what what Pac's plan was, like what what it was that he was trying to convey to the world, like yo, th th this is the consequence of living this gangster life. Like, that's really what he was doing. It wasn't. It was. It, that's really. That was really his agenda. I, we ride in the car, and he'll be saying this shit. Some of them words is, is words that he was telling me while we riding in the car. I'm going to show these niggas what it is when you a real nigga and what you got to go through when you a real nigga. 
You gotta understand, Pac was a panther. He was a he was a he was a cub, a panther cub. So, um, you know, so he he was de he would definitely indulge in 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 um, bringing light to 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 what could happen to you out here on these streets. To all of the all of all my brothers, all my niggas. You could all and you ain't you you ain't you ain't special like that nigga. You can a bullet will will, will will go through your ass like butter, just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And and that's that was his point. Like I, I look at me, I, I'm I'm Tupac, nigga. I got all the money, I got all the cars, I got all the bitches, I got all of this shit right now, nigga. And I can lose it in a fucking second. I can lose it in a second. I'm trying to be a real nigga. And all you niggas can do that. You can lose all you got in a second. You see two motherfuckers driving down the street, one nigga in a Lamborghini, the other nigga in a Bentley, and they shooting at each other. Fuck you mad at? You in a Bentley, you in a Lambo. Nigga, go get some bitches and kick it. Whatever it was. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, shit. Nobody really listens, man. They, got, they, they need to start paying attention. You know, Boosie says something I want to get I want to get your thoughts on. A rapper can't attack a gangster and live. And he was kind of talking about the Tupac Orlando situation. This would have happened to anybody. Tupac would have stumped out that night. Yeah. When you are, I said this earlier, when you are a real street dude, when you are really in the streets, you eat from the street. You certified in the street. A rapper can't do that. Like you, like I think Baby Lane would have respected it more if it was a, a it was a a real street dude. By it being a rapper, bro, we don't like them dudes. You have a certain way of you feel like they just rap. They ain't never done nothing. You gotta know I'm, you gotta know where I'm coming from. Like, like, bro. He would have killed him tomorrow, yesterday. Like, ain't no rapper finna jump on no fucking gangster. Is that a real statement to you? Um, depending on depending on what's uh, what side of you know you could could they they call this gangster rap. So, you know, you could be more a rapper, or you could be more gangster, or you could be both. Me, I'm a whole different fucking monster. I'm both. I got niggas that tear your motherfucking head off. I tear your motherfucking head off. You know what I'm saying? I'm six foot one, 230 some pounds. I ain't gotta be scared of none of these niggas out here for shit. You know what I'm saying? And I know how to get out. So, you know, I'm gangster rapper for real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>